welcome back to another fantastic video of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Um, so you'll see we're in quite a pickle. It's turned into nighttime, and we're getting attacked by some Skeletors. So let's run away. Oh, the bridge is up. Okay. Um, so last time we uh, we got the Ocarina of Time. We uh, defeated the boss in the uh, Jabu Jabu's pa or stomach. I don't know. Um, anyway, so we finished that dungeon place. Our next objective is to become uh, to become an adult, and like any normal elf we do that by sleeping for seven years and then waking up uh, so we'll, we'll get to that today and uh, we'll see where that takes us I know what next we need to be going to the forest temple so maybe we'll start heading over there and where's the moon oh it's almost it's almost daytime oh the big fatty's out okay I guess that's a thing, right? It's like the moon's going down and the sun's about to come up. The big bad skeleton comes and tries to fuck your day up. Um, but anyway, so that's what we'll be doing today. Um, we'll see how far we can get. I uh, I don't figure we'll. Uh, I don't figure we'll we'll finish the forest temple or anything, but hopefully we get there and and make a little bit of a progress. And ah, uh, look at them! I love the dogs. Look at them. Ah, uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Pushing him. Pushing up on him. Fuck his day up. Fucking dog. I'm Link. Do what I want. Oh, what do you do? Why are you a kid? Talk to me. Talk to me. Oh, she's chasing a chicken. Oh, she's in for quite a treat if she fucks with that chicken. Um, but anyway, so I haven't done any of this uh, since last time. So we're basically going to go in and uh, do all this. Apologies, we're going to have to sit through a couple cutscenes, but uh, I promise you some gameplay is to follow. Don't you worry. If you come here, there are three. Blah, blah, blah. If you come here, like before you have the stones, what happens? Oh right, we have to play. I guess that happens. <laughs> you wander around like an idiot for a couple seconds while you're trying to figure out what the hell to do. Okay, so what was this? This was a. Uh, Cool. Um, so I don't know what you do with your old ocarina. I kind of wonder that. Because as far as like sentimental value, you'd think Link would be more attached to his old one. Seeing it was, it was given to him from an old friend and, you know, someone who, who, who he's known probably his entire life. You know, it was given to him as like a gift to say, you know, I, I know you're leaving our town, but I'll always remember you, Lincoln, and value the time. Of course, I'm talking about Saria's uh, ocarina that, that she gives you in the beginning of the game. Right before you, like, so strangely run full blast away from her. Oh, he's kind of confused me. He looked so worried in that, uh, in that little cutscene. You get the ocarina, she's like, I'll always remember you, and you're just like, peace, I'm done with you. I have things to do. So it's the Master Sword, yay. It looks so polygony. Let's, uh, let's sleep for seven years, shall we? Oh, it looks so different than 
the Master Sword in a well any of the newer Zelda games. That's cool. <gasps> it's big eared guy. <laughs> Excellent work. Oh please say goose. Please say goose. Oh, I don't think he knows your name. It wouldn't really make sense for him to call you Goose. Or uh, your name, whatever you've called him. Oh, I love a good evil guy laugh. It's so just... I don't know. Yes, Goose! Okay. This guy's in quite a few Zelda games. I, like, I guess he's supposed to be like the king. I think. Maybe not, actually. Maybe that's me just assuming something. I wonder if you looking to the green place first was kind of like a sign to be like, you have to go there next. Yep, yep, this is all very important. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Goose, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. You're old as dirt! And you grew pants, and a shirt, and gauntlets. And bigger boots, and a bigger tunic. You know, you, you've you've actually got a whole new wardrobe. You're welcome. However, <laughs> you were too young to be the hero of time before. Oh, what a shitty deal! You lose seven years of your life just because some old dude thinks a kid can't uh, can't be a hero of time. Yes, God, I understand my destiny. Oh, I do. No, just, I understand. Leave me alone. Is it Gerudo or Gerudo? I've always wondered that. I've heard people say it both ways. I think it's Gerudo. That, it makes more sense. There's no reason why they make that G a J sound for an entire like type of people. Just, uh, I don't know. Why would they make something uh, said uh, not the way it's spelled just because? I mean, it's a made up word. That's what I'm saying. Like, they, 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 they made up the word Gerudo. There's no reason for them to make it, so it's also said weird. Uh, so we still don't have a shield. So that might actually be at the top of our list to go do. Um, I have 99 rupees, so I can probably just go buy one, but f uh, can you? How much does one cost? For some reason, I think it costs 200, but I might just be wrong. I probably am. It's probably like 50 or something, because that would make more sense, I guess. Um, You can get one just in this town, I think, so I'll stop and do that. And then we'll make our way to the Lost Woods. Um, sorry about this episode being pretty cinematic. Can't skip these cutscenes. Uh, but we learned a lot about Goose and his adventures, so we'll uh, and we'll we'll do some exciting shit next episode. I promise. Isn't there fan theories where? People think Navi dies at the end of this game. <gasps> Who's that? Why? Why does he instantly go to like, I'm gonna kill them? What if Link was gay and he saw Sheik standing there thinking it was completely like a guy? And then at the end of the game, spoiler alert, uh, 
when it turns out to be a woman. A sheik, that is. Um, what if Link was like, oh, I wasn't falling in love with you, it's fine. <sighs> and like he just abandons his quest. Or all the things he's done up to that point was because like Sheik was the man of his dreams. I'd love to know if there's a fan fiction that at all follows a story like that. I'd think not. Probably not. I'd write it. I'll write it. It's fine, guys. I got this. Um, from what I know, Sheik is basically just telling you what to do next. Yeah, let's go to your hometown. Um, so we'll do that, but first we'll get a shield and roll all over the place. See, the thing is, I like I like the look of no shield in uh, basically any Zelda game. I just think it looks more. Oh, we can't get a shield here. Okay, so we'll maybe get one later. You know what? We'll just get one later. Nope, fuck you guys. Nope, fuck you guys. Um, yeah, no. Right, that town's like burnt down. So we can get one when we, um, I think there's one in that town. I guess we could go check now. Yeah, let's go check now. Let's get a shield and uh, maybe pause after that. I just think he looks so badass, just sword in hand, just like, I don't know, doesn't need no protection because he's all like dodgy and shit. Doesn't care about your bullshit. Grass, 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 grass. Oh, we should get Epona too. Maybe we'll do that next episode. Maybe we'll wait a bit until we do more story stuff. Um, we'll see. I don't know yet. I do love some of the side quests in this game, though. They're just fun. I mean, so are other Zelda games, but I don't know. This one, it's really, is the game frozen? That. Um, pausing it. And we're back. Oh, that was that was a while. So basically, the game froze, <clears throat> but we didn't save. Basically anywhere from when we got the Ocarina of Time to, well, what you see here. Um, so we're going to get the shield. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and that's that's 80 rubies. Okay, well, cool. No, I didn't hear about you from the Death Mountain Gate guy. I just want the shield, that's all. It's a cool shield, and I don't have one, so thank you. Uh, nope, that's that's all I'd like. Um, so with all that done and uh, done, oh, let's save. Let's let's give it a quick save. I went while I was waiting and got got my master sword to feel more Zelda friendly and um, to brighten my mood after waiting through half an hour of cutscenes. That wasn't half an hour. It was whatever you saw before, just again. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for the episode today. Sorry about the freezing. That's a bit silly. But anyway, um, next episode we're going to do a Navi says. What does Navi say? Said a fairy that sounds death mountain. Well, you don't need to go up there. I mean, we could probably go up there. We should probably go up there. 
next episode. Thanks for watching, uh, as always, and uh, I'll see see you next time. I'll uh, I'll uh, try to put out another video just about every day. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you for your ever uh, going support, and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye.